Welcome to the Biochem Seria episode entitled Disaccharides. This is an episode of the playlist on chemistry of carbohydrates, which is linked above. Feel free to click above and visit the playlist to view the other episodes on this topic. Simply stated, a disaccharide, also called a double sugar, is the sugar formed when two monosaccharides, or simple sugars, are joined by an O-glycosidic bond. Disaccharides are one of the four chemical groupings of carbohydrates, which are the monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. The most common types of disaccharides, namely, sucrose, lactose, and maltose, all have 12 carbon atoms, with the general formula C12H22O11. The differences in these disaccharides are due to atomic arrangements within the molecule. Let's now look at the different classifications of disaccharides. There are two functionally different classes of disaccharides. These are the following. First are the non-reducing disaccharides. These are disaccharides whose component monosaccharides bond through an acetal linkage between both of their anomeric centers. This results in neither monosaccharide being left with a hemiacetal unit, or a hydroxyl group attached to the anomeric carbon, that is free to act as a reducing agent. Sucrose and trihalose are examples of non-reducing disaccharides, because as mentioned, the glycosidic bond is between their respective hemiacetal carbon atoms. The reduced chemical reactivity of the non-reducing sugars in comparison to reducing sugars, may be an advantage where stability and storage is important. On the other hand, reducing disaccharides are disaccharides in which one monosaccharide, the reducing sugar of the pair, still has a free hemiacetal unit, or a free hydroxyl group attached to an anomeric carbon, that can perform as a reducing aldehyde group. Lactose, maltose, and cellobios are examples of reducing disaccharides. The formation of a disaccharide molecule from two monosaccharide molecules proceeds by displacing a hydroxyl radical from one molecule, and a hydrogen ion or a proton from another. The hydroxyl and hydrogen ions released form water in a process known as condensation, or sometimes referred to as dehydration reaction. For example, maltose is formed by condensation of two molecules of the monosaccharide glucose. The condensation reaction that bonds monosaccharides into disaccharides, and also bonds monosaccharides into more complex polysaccharides, forms what are called O-glycosidic bonds. As in all glycosides, the glycosidic bond does not allow muterotation. Since this type of bond is formed stereospecifically by enzymes in natural disaccharides, they are only found in one of the possible configurations, either alpha or beta. On the other hand, breaking apart a double sugar into its two simple sugars, is accomplished by hydrolysis, with the help of a type of enzyme called disaccharidesis. Each disaccharide is broken down with the help of the corresponding disaccharidesis, for example, sucrase, lactase, and maltase for sucrose, lactose and maltose, respectively. Let's now go to the first example of the biomedically significant disaccharides. The first is maltose. Maltose is the two-unit member of the amylose homologous series, the key structural motif of starch. When beta amylase breaks down starch, it removes two glucose units at a time, producing maltose, also known as malt sugar. Maltose is also an intermediate in the intestinal digestion of carbohydrates. In maltose, the anomeric O group or C1 of one glucose molecule has an alpha glycosidic bond with C4 and a second glucose residue. Since there is a free hydroxyl group or an anomeric aldehyde group, which is the C1 of the second glucose moiety, maltose is classified as a reducing sugar. The systematic name of maltose is alpha d glucopyranosyl one 4 d glucopyranose The second disaccharide we are going to discuss is lactose or what is commonly known as milk sugar. Lactose is the most important carbohydrate in the milk of mammals. Cow's milk contains 4.5% lactose. Lactose is a disaccharide derived from the condensation of galactose and glucose, which form a beta-1,4 glycosidic linkage. Its systematic name is beta-D-galactopyranosyl 1,4-D glucopyranose. The glucose can be in either the alpha-pyranose form or the beta-pyranose form, whereas the galactose can only have the beta-pyranose form, hence alpha-lactose and beta-lactose refer to the anomeric form of the glucopyranose ring alone. Since there is a free hydroxyl group or an anomeric aldehyde group, which is the C1 of the glucose moiety, lactose is also classified as reducing sugar. Sucrose is a disaccharide composed of two monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. It is produced naturally in plants, like sugar cane and beet, from which table sugar is refined. In sucrose, 
The monomers glucose and fructose are linked via an O-glycosidic bond between C1 of the glucosal subunit and C2 of the fructosal unit. Glucose exists predominantly in the alpha form and links to fructose. On the other hand, fructose exists in the beta isomer and links to glucose. The systematic name of sucrose is alpha d glucopyranosyl 1 2 beta d fructofuranoside In sucrose, the two anomeric O groups of glucose and fructose have a glycosidic bond, thus making it one of the non-reducing sugars. Here is a table summarizing the monosaccharide components of the different common disaccharides and their specific glycosidic bonds. This concludes this episode of the Biochem Seria series of this topic. Feel free to watch the other Biochem Seria episodes of this lecture as linked on the next screen, and in the description below. Please subscribe to our channel, the Biochem Seria channel, click on the notification bell button, and be notified of new videos to be uploaded. Content will be added regularly. Thank you, for watching this Biochem Seria episode. You can check out the related videos linked here or click on the related playlist as shown to view all the videos of this topic.